Hi, Zephyr. Question for you. Jesus Christ. Yeah. We flicked. <coughs> we ended with this voice line. Literally turned it all the way down to talk over it just for it to come right back at the start of the next episode. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm I had a whole different intro plan. I was gonna do something special. That just pissed me off. Anyways, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden. In today's video, we're back with XCOM Chimera Squad. We are pretty much at the end of this playthrough. At this point, I want to see if I can push this off for three days. No, 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 because that's not the final mission, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out now. That way, I'm not pushing unrest up for no reason. We've been rocking with the same team for a while, but I don't think I have a reason to switch up, really. Patrick can't come out. Claymore's the only one who could really switch on. I kind of want to do that just to switch him on and see what, what this last ability does. Because he does have one more ability. It's like heavy artillery or something like that. Heavy ordnance. Let me see what it does before I even bother switching him. Grenade items gain a bonus use. Affects support grenades, not just offensive ones. I don't think i don't think that's worth it that's like using a grenade twice of course it's powerful but even either way on his turns i've been using two different grenades each time so yeah we really settled into this team though and i think it's a i think it's a pretty good team because it brings a lot of different um <laughs> not exactly a quiet approach the progeny must know you're here of course they do where they're doomed um uh, that's that's pretty intimidating if you're from the outside of a window yeah where they're doing we're here to kill them all pretty much what he's saying but the the team is pretty varied it has a lot of uh variety in it we have axiom getting up close to everything and smashing similar to zephyr i'll probably swap him out for zephyr to call it a main team like this is the team that i would go with if i can only pick four uh blue blood's obviously the one who's taking all the shots dealing uh consistent damage between his turns plus the mobility aim would be shelter aim should also be torque just because of the weapons and then that plus the mobility then torque is taking people i think torque has plays a very unique role in any team that she's on because she's physically take like literally physically taking people out of the fight by incapacitating them and then as well as for the poison so she's really good at like controlling an area and then controlling a person as well uh controlling a person's physical as well we're definitely going to use this in here there's too many aggressive enemies to not use it we're going to disrupt their aim as much as we can here honestly Am I going to take that shot out of the turn order or do I sp I'm going to try and spread the damage out more. There's a lot of people in here. I think it's going to be to make more sense to try and take everybody out Two, why I would say Zephyr over Axiom is because of that Reaper ability to take out a lot of low health things. Pretty powerful right after the breach. That way I can clean up what's left from the breach and continue on, especially with her ability to cover pretty much the whole map too. I'm going to use Dazzle and it looks like this affected most everybody in the room a lot of a lot of shots like a lot of shots i think that's the most shots i've ever seen actually no it's absolutely the most shots i've ever seen but it looks like for the most part we got shot once only saw one one person damage which was axiom no we got shot three times but three times out of a whole room of aggressive units isn't bad now we definitely have an angle with land shot going across the number 12 into the 11 maybe up to the six i'm not sure yet but first can we kill the number two person if this hits it's likely to kill yeah okay we will manage to take them out it's only one person between us and the next and can what are these things i don't it looks like we can't damage them because i can't take a shot at them or anything we could do land shot but i want to do a lightning cans towards this thrall and go ahead and use land shot if it if it went just a little bit further we definitely would have been able to take both of them but we can do it like this and take out 11 and 10. dropping the hammer Hopefully I didn't just wipe out all of the armor. Or not the armor, but the cover. I didn't. I don't know if it does damage too. 
cover it that way it makes it seem like it would by how it highlights stuff but looks like it's fine is that push i wonder if that pushes down in the turn order for them also but for us it doesn't or for us it does but like if they're moving him further down and i wouldn't know because he was already at the bottom anyways we already know what the move was with axiom i'm gonna go ahead and use i have to use smash first to get a move afterwards so i'll go ahead and use smash up here i think not even i think i'm gonna use smash all the way up here right and then will I be able to use no because they have a shield of some sort on them but I could use subdue on the number seven one I don't know what's going on with number two or why they have so much health I could go ahead and weaken can I get quake to deal damage like up the side doesn't look like it I don't think I'm going to use quake right now either it is the first mission and I'm gonna hope that so you can shoot the oh shit does it have a different marker if that was the case and i would have been and used um blue blood's like takedown ability although there might be a bunch in the last one see the weird thing is now i'm trying to remember stuff that could have happened before who's next number four is coming next and i can use subdue on them i'm trying to remember stuff back to when it first happened the first time i played through because that's the only time they've been first is uh the only time that progeny have been first and for some reason that's the one i'm remembering the best i think they have these little pylon things in every room but they only apply um health to certain no units so the archons are one of them i think what is this thing this is a resonant i thought they would have had it too maybe sorcerers get it then because there's no sorcerers in here okay in number 10 you have 10 health I can already see you from here, so I might as well tongue pull you, right? But is anything grouped up even mildly? I don't think Axiom takes damage from poison, so if we can get this to deal damage to both of them, that'll be fine. But it doesn't look like we can. I want to start with this because I know I'll still be able to use tongue pull afterwards. I could poison them and just have them start taking damage now. Because when I use tongue pull, I am going to be exposed from that angle. I can use tongue pull on this resonant and take them out of the turn and even if i do end up getting shot at and releasing the bind i still have this bind here for the first move they're just gonna skip the turn either way Ooh, forgot blue blood was over there i forgot all about him Next time, don't get hit. No, I want to relocate. I relocate with blue blood. I don't think that does anything for my teammates, though. Also, don't really like doing that either. I relocate with them to push them down in the turn order, right? And then I use soul fire on the archon just to mix things up in the turn order a little bit i really just like the phrase saying like i'm juggling the turn order because shelter really does have a pretty decent control over this with how he can push people down only in rare cases where his him moving people not actually help uh you are disorientated and we can't heal ourselves because of that so all we can really do is take two shots if i take this well i can't take the shot right and then no matter it yeah no matter what happens they're gonna die at the start of the next turn so i don't have to deal with them and then i don't think i need to worry about that pylon you can take out number three i was gonna say as long as you don't miss on another high high like the to hit one like 90 something Can you not make it around up to here in time? Kid running gun. Coming for you. Up to here. Yeah, and we have cover from the Archon still. No. And I don't even know if taking out the resonators would have made this encounter a little easier. We didn't have that many psionics that would be gaining damage from it. 
and his arm is twisted crazy hang on a second that is one thing i like about not only xcom but games oh i can't move the camera any closer up there but see like he's just twisted right there uh in games like xcom that just have just apply weird physics for no reason you're dead uh did she resist that panic panic resisted there oh yeah she's in his range so he would have she would have resisted it yeah cool um they just add unnecessary physics to stuff like happy wheels is pretty cool if it was more realistic i think i would have enjoyed that an immense power surge from that tower also the roof is um the roof is glowing i can see it from back at the base damn that shit bright um yeah just adding those pointless physics is always fun okay axiom has our healing right no unit unit is not does he have to take damage for that to be used because if so that's kind of shitty all right we'll use a ceasefire bomb at this entrance axiom there's no point in having axiom go through this door so we'll bring him and twerk over here blowing the charge and i hope twerk wasn't using her hollow skin because i didn't want to use it i feel like i saw that image no okay cool Another thing that I've thought about doing is my school has Adobe. So I'm probably going to start trying to play with those uh, soon. As soon as I figure out how to get them on my own computer to use. I didn't even know it said lead by example here. So that was good. I didn't read everything over here. But yeah, so I was in the middle of trying to hold two conversations. But yeah, the Adobe thing, maybe that'll help. Not help, but like allow me to do coolest stuff because I want to do not just the basic stuff that I was doing most of the first year since I have all this new stuff in the recording software I can I can play with that stuff if I want to and then I found out my school has Photoshop so maybe I can do something there they don't have After Effects though which is the one I was really hoping they would have uh so they gain something from these so they're getting a psionic shield. Yeah, they're getting shielded by this. So if I can take out this, damn. Yeah, I should probably start taking these out. The device on the roof. It's operating under its own power. You'll have to stop uh, it directly. Prevent, prevent enemies from activating the psionic network. All right, cool. This should be pretty easy to maintain distance on. Firstly, how far can I get this turncoat grenade? And I can only see one person to relocate with. All right, I'll move up to here, right? Drop this turncoat grenade, like, right as far into this. I want to hit as many of them as I can as possible. So I'm going to go for trying to hit, like, three and five, I guess, since I can't. No, I think I have to settle for eight and three. Grenade out. Also, I'm going to get three and five because they were also close in the turn order. But this is fine yeah doing more oh damn well i mean i'm sad but not really not sad but like i would have rather that been a i don't want to use all of my stuff right now i'd rather been a normal shot that way the other one can shoot back at it and we're in this room where we can't see anybody so that's fantastic can move out here and shit i might as well use subdue on him right and see if i can kill but even if i don't kill whenever something moves he's gonna uh that's what i was hoping to see but now he's also an overwatch so he almost took them out it almost worked out doing better stuff for the videos though you should have ducked we could use quake here and they are pretty pretty uh close together don't have running gun for another two turns either. Uh, he's already maxed psych up. Might as well use smash if I can use subdue. Doing it from this it moves me all the way into this room firstly, and then secondly, uh, gives me cover from them also. I was going to say deals this damage and gives me cover, not move into the room. That doesn't matter. 
they spent their entire turn moving so we can grab them Get over here. yeah if we yeah we're gonna take them out of the fight so now we don't have to worry about her it's i don't know why i want to keep calling these things hers but it's um it's increased health and he is bleeding out now so we have to bring in the robot because what i couldn't heal him when i wanted to at any point i should have healed him on this turn though that is on me but you can stabilize them how do they have his body lying in this corner he's really crumpled up in there what a shame put my team around him and then still let him die just shows you that nobody's safe Ah, oh, I forgot he used stabilize. I just moved him out there thinking I was gonna have a shot. Almost got me. You can use subdue. Oh, forgot about them right here. Yeah, use subdue on them then. Still didn't kill. He's about to die though. Codex loses that turn. The resident is berserked. They got their move back though. Is he going to be immune to his Muton Berserk while he's in this area? You can sustain that bind. Hello? I have your number now. End up back at his turn pretty quick? I actually don't know what has just happened. For it to be back at Shelter's turn so quickly. I probably know when I'm recording. Yeah, because I definitely sustained the bind here. So maybe it just started cycling through turns and skipping stuff. Uh, We can use subdue. Can we take out the codex, though? Can we reach the codex? Cool. This way they don't get that turn. That does leave Axiom open to the resonant. Off the board. Encouraging. Yeah, this definitely isn't where I left off. Incompetent. Um, find and his turn is skipped, and you can just go and use subdue. So, now for the next part of this encounter, and I think before this was a four encounter thing because we have to like activate the elevator or something like that. But shit, she's gonna go down too. And Axiom had our No, Axiom has our health thing, but he just can't is cutting in and out. I'm not sure if you can hear this. Ignore the echoes in your ear. Fear not. I am unvanquished still. Violet, I know what you're trying to do. You have to stop. This is a gift given freely. How does one stop charity? They forced this upon us. You don't have to do the same. This, this gift is no burden. It lifts us from the muck. Behold, for gods and men cast the self-same shadow. Breach, you have to breach now. Whoa, that's a way cooler line than how it started before. <laughs> Axiom cannot lead through this entrance because Axiom needs to heal everybody else. And we can have shelter and torque. We want torque to go in next, actually, with the ceasefire. Or not the ceasefire, the hollow scan. And we'll bring in the medi patch. And then we'll go with this. Because we definitely have not been healing ourselves properly. Grenade out. Then also, she took some damage while I was gone, I guess. So I guess it does play. Because I was literally AFK. I had to go do something real quick. Just forgot to pause the game. 76% chance to take them out completely. I should probably shoot at these little resonant things if I can. Doesn't look like I can though. Cause I definitely would have started taking them out first. You can take out. Damn, I don't want to use all of my shots taking out only these two, but I don't need to take any more damage during the breach. 
Are the only issues you're you have a low chance of hit. I could have used no, I don't think I had dazzle available. I wasn't paying attention, so I'll probably see later if I did or didn't. Damn, how many is it? It's gonna be 10 shield. Yeah, it's just gonna be 10 shielded. No, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12. Yeah. I don't know how I got 10 before. Oh my goodness. And then he finna boost up the damage. Jesus Christ. Uh, use team up with Zephyr, right? Cause if I can bind Violet and keep her out of the turn, like keep her from taking her turns and all that, then I can just pick everybody else off and not have to take worry about these things. Unless I need to do that in order to uh stop whatever's happening here. Anyways, Violent's gonna go third. I wanna drop this grenade out here. Yeah, right there. Cause they're, those two are all, they're all groups up here and they're pretty close together. I don't know why I didn't damage number, number five. I think I looked at it wrong though. I think it was showing orange right there because they're through a box. And you don't have good cover right here. So I'm gonna move you over here. I should have equipped this thing with like a uh, medi patch or something like that too. Why you why why? The defense it shouldn't be that high. Whatever, go for the shot on them. It's not wide in the open. They shouldn't have any defense. All right, can you tongue pull five? Ah, I don't think it's gonna let me do it. Now let's have to move up here first. And let me heal her. Let me just remember to do that real quick. Be a good tactician, like general to my people or whatever, you know? Now, can you see her? Because she's definitely right there. Tongue pull. No. No. Nah, it's just, it's just not gonna give it to me. I can't tongue pull and keep her out of the fight. Okay, well, uh, that was a waste of a move. Yeah, he's definitely standing right there. So I think he was in range before. I don't know why this ball isn't taking damage. Probably has something to do with Violet's turn. No? Okay, well now I'm just confused. That gives the resident a move now, right? Yep. And she also made the resident her subordinate, right? A subservient. So when I do a damage to her, she's going to shoot it to the resident. I, yeah, I don't know why he isn't taking damage from the original stuff. Anyways, deal damage, you're going to shoot it to the resident. Then I have to break down her shield and then I can deal damage to her. Or I can start working on these things. And he heals two per turn, so that's pretty good too. He also has the ability to heal somebody whenever he wants to. Use Adrenal Surge to get moving. I can start dealing damage on these things too if I do that. Over the edge. I think I'm gonna do that, right? Kraken skulls. I shut it down, but I don't know what that means. And we raged, so we lost the rest of his turn either way. But I was just gonna go for another resonant, resonant, resonance pylon. Oof. I was gonna say resignator pot on and then couldn't get that out of my head. Anyways, I was gonna go for another one of those, in, but I was gonna move to one closer to Violet. What is she doing? Is she getting a bunch of subservience? They're gonna die of poison anyway, so I'm not scared of that one. Let's let the fracture out now. Uh, you can teleport with, I don't want Violet closer, Violet closer. It's like voices that are like whimpering. The only way I can describe it as is whimpering through my ears, which is weird. Okay. Go for the number seven, dude. Or number two, dude. Switching. 
that doesn't move them down in the turn order with you. But you can still do this to them. Okay. Now you can use Riot. Is the next thing I'm going to use going to be the end of my turn anyways? Yeah, you can use Riot and heal yourself off of them now. That's, that that's cool. And then this thing can die next to him because he's going to resist the panic due to his aura and anyone near him. Shut down that device. If we can hear him. Okay, okay. I want to use subdue. I can go ahead and take out this resonant, right? Does that make sense to do? Or I can take a shot of no, because that resonant's gonna die on his own turn anyways. Shoot this dude in the back of the head. Yep. I forgot this thing has a shotgun and not an assault rifle anymore. Can you tongue pull her now? No, no, you can't. You can't take this resonance turn though. I'm more concerned about what a resonant can do than what a uh, thrall can do. I think thralls generally just shoot, but resonants have their psionic abilities. It's teleporting again. I assume she's gonna shoot it. I was gonna say Axiom, but I guess not. They are also caught into this network. So she has three people she's gonna kill before. Um, Can't she take takes damage like herself. That. Okay, we'll use running so gun, right? Ready for this. We'll run back here. I just sniff into the mic. I can't remember. Like a real, like, nose shaky sniff into the mic. We can heal shelter. Now it's highlighting shelter because I don't want this shit messing That's up again. Works. All right. Now we can dash over to here. And take a shot on uh, can we see this person? They're gonna die of poison. It's gonna be a bunch of our people's turns. So you're gonna start shooting at these things then. Not that one or this one. Something that is like worth a four shot, potentially. Cool. And this is start breaking down her shield. And I don't think I use psych up. That thing's dead. Shelter's thing just took damage. Oh, I was at the motile inducer. Which I give to Torque, right? Nope, oh, can't give it to Torque. All right. Well, I'll give it to Axiom then. And you can use Psycho first. And then I was going to say you could use. I was going to say you could use uh, Smash twice or something, but this is going to hit. This is going to hit all of them. And I might take out both of those resonators, which he did. And. I was hoping she was going to take enough damage to push it off to one of the subservience and kill them, but no, it didn't work out like that. We can do this. Keep her at the bottom of this cycle. She's still not at the bottom. I could hit her with this now. Give you something to think about. And that's going to push you down to the bottom. No, it's not going to let me put her below Axiom. Okay. This is going to put her in poison. And then you can use Soul Fire on. Not her, because she's already pretty low on it. Number five, dude. Number four is still bound by Torque, which is going to oh, end on this if you turn. Can hear me, shut down that device. We're working on it. We got it. Uh, you can take a shot at it. Even if we shoot at her, she's still going to send the damage to someone else. Although we might as well just start poking at it. Yeah, she's going to deflect that down to that flaw, which either way is going to take somebody out. Also, I think that dealt more damage than we would have done to her anyways. 
Did she get panicked? She did because we moved shelter away. She's gonna shoot at the Andrew, which I'm okay with. You can use. You don't have any like multi shot abilities, huh? Wired up. All three of these things are about to go though, so. Uh, I don't know why this thing keeps losing and gaining health. You can move as close as you can. You're yeah, you're immune to stuff. Best I, I think. Actually, not you might not I be because you used your. Yeah, absolutely not. Because he used this health pack thing. You change shot here. If it hits, we'll kill her. I'm not Never doing mind. Much damage. It did do a bunch of damage and almost this. kill though. And is is she still poisoned? I don't think so. But if she is still poisoned, then um. Oh, never mind. We'll just do this. Yeah, we're gonna get a scar on him. Hopefully we can clear that before the last mission. Uh I thought we'd lost you up up there. Head back to base once we make sure there are no lingering effects. You've earned a well deserved night off. You keep mentioning the gifts. Please explain it to me. You can't understand. The gift until you receive it. The manifold blooms of comprehension into love. It's a love, a love she bestows, she bestows upon us all, a connection to all around and beyond. On Franz, Franz and Alveoli, exploding inwards across the infinite cosm, cosm of our argent selves. City 31 Psychiatric Facilities Deprogramming Unit. All right. That was hard to read. Great job, Chimera Squad. The progeny thought they could force a psionic evolution, but their tech was only capable of scrambling psionically sensitive minds for miles around. You stopped the progeny in their tracks and saved hundreds of lives. It's hard to imagine the horrors of the progeny activating that psionic contraption in our city. To think of the loss of life at such a large scale and without warning? Oh, shit. Your latest investigation start. turned up no link to Mayor Nightingale's death, but we found more signs of external backing. Atlas was connected to each of these groups. Why? What did they have to gain? Yeah, not if the progeny couldn't possibly force a psionic evolution, why would Atlas back their flawed tech? Gray Phoenix wanted nothing more than to leave. What would Atlas get with an absent ally? And Sacred Coil? Did Atlas truly need fanatic advent holdouts with a busted psionic gate? There's something we're missing. Director, you need to see this. Unknown assailants have overrun the city council's emergency session. The following footage may be alarming to watch. Our response must be unanimous. This is beyond politics. It's about stability. 